Hey guys, this is Unibus of Fans Styles here, and today we're going to be doing another diecast unbox video. And today's unbox video will be about William Byron's 2020 Liberty uh, Liberty University Jimmy Johnson throwback from last year. So yeah, I just received this in the mail. I mean, I thought I was going to receive this tomorrow, but it turns out I'm going to get it today here. I wasn't expecting it to come, but yeah. And, and yeah, I mean, I apologize that I have not make eh, I have not made any unboxing videos lately. It's just because my my stores near me just haven't been getting many and many good diecasts lately. I mean, I, they still have not gotten a wave seven, eight, or nine yet. And yeah, I mean that's just the reason why I haven't been doing demi unboxing videos, and I just haven't been feeling like order from uh, from diecast online. But yeah, I mean, I mean I actually got this one here off Amazon, and tomorrow uh, hopefully tomorrow I have another one coming in the mail. Which is the Alex Bowman Donaldson car. So yeah, this is my first Donaldson throwback as a diecast here. And yeah, so yeah, I mean, I already received this today. And, and yeah, I mean, I'm surprised that it came today on Easter since usually on Sundays here, I don't usually get, we don't usually get mail. But looks like we did today. But yeah. And also, if you notice, like another thing, I actually am now going to be using a Power Director every time when I. I do I cast unbox videos. It's just because uh, my phone. I don't want to waste storage on my phone on its camera. So I'll just be recording on my tablet, for, fine from now on for unboxing videos. And I'll use Power Director since I feel like Power Director is easy to use. I mean, it's just the same as Kind Master, but yeah, I'm just gonna be using Power Director now. So yeah, so I mean, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get this deck open up. So I'll be right back with this thing opened up and out of the package. Okay guys, so now I have the diecast open up and yeah, here it is and wow, this thing looks really nice. So yeah, this was a throwback to Jimmy Johnson's, I think 2013 All-Star car, I think 2013. And yeah, but I mean, this is a really nice throwback. I mean, Byron ran this for the third Donington race last year because last year there was three Donington races because... Uh, and because of COVID, they said it held two Darlington races there, um, which the first one was the first race back, and the first and the second was on a Wednesday. And yeah, but I mean, this is a really nice car here. You can also see right here it says playoffs right here because last year William Byron was in the playoffs, but unfortunately he got eliminated in the round of 16 due to a crash at Bristol. But yeah, I mean, this is a really nice throwback here. And yeah, you can see in the back, uh, Liberty. It and yeah, you can see Vaveline right there, and yeah, it just looks really nice here. And yeah, I mean, I'm just happy to have this. And if you want to know why the tires right here look different, is because I believe it looks like I think Goodyear actually ran a throwback tire for this race, and honestly, those tires look really good. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to get more throwbacks soon. I mean, I am getting hopefully getting Alex Bowman's throwback tomorrow in the mail because. Uh, I, and that's what it said it will arrive on and yeah but I mean once it arrives I will and do an unboxing video of that and yeah but I mean I'm also hoping to get a few darn to throw back for my birthday I mean my birthday is in 17 days so it's getting closer now and I'm hoping just to get out our end I guess too but yeah here's just one more look at the diecast yeah I really like the colors on this here yeah but I'm just hoping to get the other hundred cars I mean, I am getting Bowman tomorrow, but I'm hoping to get Chase and Johnson, and especially that Johnson car, because that one is pro uh, possibly one of the best throwbacks ever. You can also see right here, hang on. you can see right there that win sticker that he got the week before Darlington, which was the Daytona regular season finale when he won that to get into the playoffs. I mean, honestly, that was a really good race, but I mean, I kind of wish Johnson would have been in the playoffs with him and, and, the, Hendrick, and the other Hendrick guys. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, this is a really nice uh, throwback. I mean, I believe Byron finished fifth in that race. I mean, I think he was somewhere outside the top five. But when Elliott and Truex had that contact with like, I think ten to go in that race, Byron just smashed again to the top five because Truex had the pit and Chase, which was falling back. But yeah, I mean, this is a really nice throwback, and I'm happy that I got it. And yeah, this is just my third, my first Darlington throwback diecast in the 164 go. But I hope to get more soon eventually. But uh, I'll just see what could be my next one. I mean, hopefully I can at least get some for my birthday. 
but yeah, yeah, so yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, I do apologize since that I haven't made one in a while. I mean, I explained why. And yeah, and also happy Easter, happy Easter to everyone. And I hope you all have a good day. And yeah, uh, so yeah, but I mean, uh, uh, hopefully if I get the uh, get the Alex Bowman diecast tomorrow, I will do an unboxing video of that. So yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.